What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto, 2021 here, and welcome to Five Nights at Cookie Run Kingdom 2, where this is the sequel to Five Nights at Cookie Run Kingdom. And I'm playing this game now instead of doing Night 5 for the first game because for some reason, there's no night, just like with some nights at Christmas, it only goes up to Night 4, there's no Night 5, and I don't know if it's a bug or something, but very weird but anyways um, yeah this game is made by Svetlana 2 Svetlana Johansson 2 I apologize if I pronounced your name wrong but yeah but he's the creator of the, the game anyways without further ado we'll start a new game let's see what I offer for us and this is something, this is something I didn't have trouble doing the first game and didn't have to do, but for this game, I'm going to have to, I'm going to paraphrase, um, the plot because, um, the developer's from another country, that's why the English is bad in some of the sentences, so, I do apologize that I'm paraphrasing it, but anyways, so the bottom line here for this story is, um, is once upon a time there there was a cookie named pomegranate cookie who came into the forest and he didn't realize that an unknown person killed ginger brave cookie and his friends but he found a house with a sign which we can assume is the is the owner his name is Peter Armand which we can assume he owns the house Confused, he enters the house and stays there during the night. And then the boss, so that's pretty much the bottom line for the plot for this game. For the first game, the bottom line is that you play as a guy named Alex who takes up a job as a security guard at a mall, but little does he know, there is a gingerbread cookie with his friends there that haunt the place at night. And he works there for five, and he has to survive five nights there. All right. So, anyways, without further ado, let's start night one. Let's see what has to offer for us. I do like the forest, though. How the plot, the cutscenes in a forest. Okay, so we're in a house, just like with Final Fantasy Warriors Three, because. The camera setup is very similar, and so is the house. We have a shock button, Hello. chili pepper awakening. Are you there? Oh, we hey, got a phone guy. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to see you. Uh, I had to look into it myself. My name is Alex. I saw you little actor today, Peter Lama's house. Okay, so. And also, I was next to this. We're playing as pomegranate cookie. And, cookie and, his and but Alex is the phone guy. Okay. We have a light. light, so we've never recognized it. And there's the stair more. It's chili pepper cookie. He's still sleeping. But chili not pepper? the light in the longer. He had to turn on light so we would let him sleep during the night. Well, stay safe before we will get you. As long as possible. You will survive until in five days. Well, good night and Okay, so this this whole setup definitely reminds me of Final Fantasy Warriors. The cameras, the mechanics, and then the room we're in. And plus, we're in a house, obviously. So, yeah. Okay, so if any of the gingerbread cookies come into the room, we have to shut off the light. But we cannot keep it off for too long because Chili Pepper is asleep. And if his meter goes all the way down, then he will wake up and kill me. And then we have a camera we can check, but there's really no need to check it because we don't have to use the shock meter. There's a shock button, but I don't know what that's going to be used for, but I guess we'll find out later in the game. But for right now, we don't really need to check the camera as much. Because we do... 
since we're just dealing with a gingerbread man, which he has that candy cane. Which I believe his name is Cookie Brave or something. I don't know. I can't even remember all the names. Okay. Okay, he's in the playroom. Oh, and he just came in. Okay, so so the gingerbread man, he will come to the bedroom from the playroom. So when he's on the playroom camera, it means he will be entering the room because the playroom is right near the bedroom I am in. And all these rooms definitely remind definitely remind me of Five Nights of Wario's because um, pretty much all these rooms that are on the camera, including the room I'm in, are in the game pretty much as well as Five Nights of Wario's trapped within switched in time and then Five Nights of Wario's 3 custom room edition so it definitely brings back the memories of those Five Nights of Wario's games because the gameplay is pretty similar So he's going to be coming in soon. So we got to turn off the light. And then turn it back on so that we don't wake up Chili Pepper. He's working out the sweat there. <laughs> All right. And these nights are actually pretty fast, just like with the first game. He's coming close, so we gotta turn off the light, of course, once he comes in. At least that bar doesn't drain down really fast, thank God, because that's what I'd be worried about. Because when you're using power, like if you have more than one door closed or window, the power drains faster. It also drains faster when you have the cameras up for long periods of time in most of these games. Okay, so I know the movements for the gingerbread man. He starts from here. He goes, he starts in the first living room, then goes to the first hallway, then the second living room, and then the playroom, and then into the bedroom. And we've beaten night one. There you go. All right, continue. All right, on to night two. Let's see what it has to offer for us. Okay. All right, so we get another phone call. Are we going to have to deal with the use the shock button, or what are we going to have to do? Thank well, you. let me tell you here's the bluff. There is someone who came into the Kinorama's house. His name is Dr. Cookie. Three. If you look any closer into the bathroom, you have to press a little laser attack so he will go away. So make sure he has to check on her. Well, so keep this alive and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay, 
so I gotta check on the princess. So apparently, there's a princess gingerbread cookie, and if she enters the bathroom, we have to zap her with the sh the, the the shock button. Okay, gotcha. So I'm going to have to check the cameras more frequently in this night because we got to use the shock button. Okay, so I'm checking on her. She pretty much has goes to the same rooms as the gingerbread cookie. Gingerbread man. Difference is, though, she goes to the bathroom. Okay. And then the, the princess starts in the kitchen, obviously. She'll obviously start in the kitchen. Then she moves to the first living room, then the first hallway, then the second living room, and then to the bathroom. Okay, so night one didn't really have to check the cameras much, but for night two, we got to check them more frequently. Oh, the gingerbread guy's coming. Hello, gingerbread man. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, so the princess is moving. Jump to another camera. They both did, actually. Okay. I gotta use the zapper. He's coming close, so I gotta turn off the light once he comes in. The light mechanic definitely reminds me of Five Nights at Smarters 3 when you had to turn off the light for Scruffy. And then that light mechanic also reminds me of, um,. Poppy Land Act 1 rebuild when we had to shut off the light for Dipsy on the cameras. Okay. Yeah, and this princess I've never seen before. I believe she's new because because as far as I know, we didn't have to deal with her in the first game. Maybe we did. I don't know. I, but I feel like we didn't because she's new to me. Okay, hit the zapper. And then I got to hit the light next.
and we've beaten night two. All right, so another fast night. Another real easy night, so that's good. All right, so we will take on nights three and four in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on TikTok to receive, and be sure to hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on there as well. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.